So this is Sigourney, right? Who's got my goddamn cigarette? Guys. She just can't get a break of hypersleep, can she? Ah, right. Okay, so it is the big, the bigger dragon. Looks like ah, uh, oh, oh, a bit. From <laughs> Pokemon. Welcome back to another movie reaction. Uh, today will actually be a retrospective. It will be me going back and taking a look at Avatar 2009. Uh, I haven't watched it pretty much since that date. Uh, I was 11 years old in 2009 and I don't really remember much of Avatar. Uh, and because of the new movie, uh, The Way of Water just came out end of last year. Uh, I want to brush my memory up and then go straight into watching the sequel a couple of months when it's released and it's available for me to watch. And when I first heard of Avatar being released, I remember the hype was pretty insane at the time of the film's release. Uh, and me being that age, I was excited because I thought it was going to be Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action movie. Uh, when I found out it wasn't, I was a bit disappointed and then a couple of years down the line we got that dreadful movie uh, based on that animated series. But uh, I was kind of confused back then why they called it Avatar. I'm assuming because it's got to do with the, the body transfer, you're transferring your avatar to the Na'vi characters. So uh, when I got older I understood the meaning of why they called it Avatar. And I think uh, for me personally the main reason I've never watched this again is probably because how much hype the movie got. I'm not usually a type of person that rides on bandwagons or watches stuff due to hype. And yeah, I think because of how hyped this movie got for its time, I've kind of just put it in the back burner of my memory. And especially for James Cameron movies, so far now, just because I don't remember much, I've always put it on the bottom tier of Cameron's movies. I personally prefer Terminator and Aliens, even The Abyss, I've always had more an interest in those type of movies over Avatar. But again, I don't remember Avatar that much. But yeah, we're pretty much gonna get into it now and uh, rebrush my memory on this franchise pretty much. So without any more rambling, if you do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. I'll put the movie here and we get right into it. And this is the extended cut as well. So I've never really watched the extended cut. This is three hours. So I might just split this in two separate videos. I also want to see how the CGI has held up as well in the green screen because obviously this is a revolutionary film because of that and it seems like movies after this have abused that this technique way too much and it's become way lackluster. Sooner or later though, you always have to wake up. See, this is something they never touched on too, and I think this is the extended footage because I don't really remember this cyberpunk looking world. I really, really think Cameron should explore this more, this cyberpunk era and aesthetic in the Avatar universe. We're looking for Sully, G. Right, his brother got murdered, didn't he? And now they have to use him for the Avatar. Right, I'm starting to remember a little bit of this. Strong prey on the weak. Guy with a knife to call Tommy would ever be. For the paper in his wallet. Okay, so it was a robbery. I'd like to talk to you about taking over his contract. And since your genome is identical to his, you could step into his shoes. Yeah. All this cyberpunk uh, futuristic stuff and they're using what a cardboard box for the body Me I was just another dumb grunt getting sent someplace he was gonna regret So he's talking about his brother being a dumb grunt, but He agrees still to sign up with this so he becomes a dumb grunt himself Stephen Lang. 
We have an indigenous population of humanoids called the Navi. They're fond of arrows, dipped in a neurotoxin that'll stop your heart in one minute. That's reassuring. Jake. You're Jake, right? Tom's brother. Wow. Looks just like him. Sorry, I'm Norm. It's so almost like they used the same actor for his brother. Me and Norm are here to drive these remotely controlled bodies called avatars. Yep. They're grown from human DNA mixed with the DNA of the natives. The thing is, did they take dead Navis and re like capture them in this or some sort? Because I said they mixed the human and the native DNA to make this function and work, but did they initially take dead Navis or are they keeping them alive in this chamber? It's weird. So this is Sigourney, right? My goddamn cigarette. Guys, what's wrong with this picture? Thank you. She just can't get a break of hyper sleep, can she? This is Jake Sully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know who you are, and I don't need you. How much lab training have you had? I just had that frog once. You see? You see? I mean, they're just pissing on us without even the courtesy of calling it rain. See, they're all kind of arrogant in the name of science type people kind of like burke from aliens parker you know i used to think it was benign neglect but now i see that you're intentionally screwing me Oops. <laughs> the last thing i need is another trigger happy moron out there look look you're supposed to be winning the hearts and the minds of the natives isn't that the whole point of your little puppet show yeah see that's Relations with the indigenous are only getting worse. Yeah, that tends to happen when you use machine guns on them. Yeah, see, it, it's like, have they not learnt throughout history? I mean, even in the future in this dog shit world, they're still militaristic like this. It's what pays for your science. Comprendo? Now those savages are threatening our whole operation. Savages, because they want to defend their land. I mean. You're here. How much have you logged? Zip. But I read a manual. Tell me you're joking. I just love uh, Sigourney's humor as well. Just a real arrogant smart ass. <laughs> but yeah, it's once they go to sleep, then they connect with the avatar. That's right. They gotta go in like some hyper sleep. Yeah. The thing is, I forgot if he dies as a Navi, does he die as a human or does that consciousness just transfer back to the human form i don't really remember that's right he runs around like an idiot i remember this i remember him running in like a field ted just got this rogue guy who knows nothing to transform into an rv i just like how he just becomes this cocky asshole once he got transferred into this navi body Hey guys. Hey. It's okay. I'll get him. Jake, you have to come. Jake. Back. Jake. Excuse me. I mean, how long has it been since he's been paraplegic? I, I don't know if they brushed over it. But no shit, you get someone that has the chance to walk again. You're going to get someone like this running around. Right. So, if I remember as well the the plants like interact with the movement. I think, I think it's this movie. Yeah, it like, it's like, well, obviously the plants are alive, but they connect specifically with the Navi. Grace? Well, who'd you expect, numb nuts? Think fast. Motor control's looking good. Even the vein work looks really nice. I mean, I really love attention to detail like that, where they've got veins and pores and all that. Something that, like, She-Hulk didn't have. There was almost no texture to that CGI model. But this is still such a heartless plan to coerce the Na'vi, basically, to walk into their deathbeds as, you know, disguising as them. Welcome back. There you go, back to your boring life. I fly all the science sorties. And this here is my baby. Hold on a second. 
Right, Michelle Rodriguez is in this too. I forgot about that. She was pretty badass in this movie, if I remember. Watch it! Yeah, that's because we're not the only thing flying around out there. Or the biggest. I'm gonna need you on a door gun. I'm a man short. It's too bad she kind of just been stuck in the Fast and Furious universe. I really think she should do other movies. I think she'll be really good in other roles. It's low gravity, it'll make you soft. Yeah, right. I still don't get why he even signed up to this. Like, he already made fun of his brother saying he was a grunt. And yet he's here with all the other grunts. A recon gyrene in an avatar body. Oh, that's a bullet So these are kind of like power loaders with machine guns. I know he dies, but he gets killed by a spear, right, if I remember. I think I'm starting to remember some scenes. I think a spear goes right into his head. Side, I want you to gain their trust. I need to know how to force their cooperation or hammer them hard if they won't. He's going to feel more aligned to these guys. Because he was once a Marine. Yeah, so he's kind of coerced him and made him feel more friendly to beat the Marines and double-cross the scientists. So far, so good. Like, everything's held up pretty much pretty flawlessly since 209. Like, this looks really, really good. This looks better than some stuff that come out now. And that's a testament to how good this effects are. <laughs> Surprised we didn't get, like, along the watchtower or some shit blaring when they're flying on this. Also, I never understood, uh, and maybe it's just because I haven't watched this for a while, but they're wearing military gear and they're trying to blend in with the Na'vi. Like, wouldn't this be too obvious? Like, hey, you're not wearing the same clothes as us. And also, let's not forget the, like, machine gun as well. Pro lemurs. They're not aggressive. Yeah, but some animals Last are. Night. The kids were so bright. Eager to learn. Picked up English faster than I could teach it. This is such a shit thing for both the scientists and the military of what they were doing. They were trying to befriend them and then betray them for the for the minerals. Well, kind of mirrors human history, I guess. The Omatekaya learned as much about us as they needed to. Right. They use all scumbags. What happened here? You gonna help us with this gear? We've got a lot to do. Right, that's right. This idiot gets impatient, doesn't he? Run into some rhino creature. Yeah, this is still visually stunning. I can't believe it's still held up this good. Ah, oh, there we go. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot, you'll piss him off. It's a territorial threat display. Do not run or he'll charge. Yeah, come on. What you got? Oh yeah, who's bad? That's right. There you go. That's right. There's one of them behind you. Run. I also like how unique all these uh, animals look. Run! Definitely run! Surely you could get it like caught up in some vines like these. Yeah, the bamboos here. The good old Jurassic World trick where you go like under some debris. It can't claw you. If he gets killed as the avatar form, does he wake up as a human or is he dead? Because I know for a fact. If he dies sleeping in that chamber, I think he dies in general. But it's good he knows survival skills, I guess. He's already got a weapon ready. Uh, at least he's... He's still a grunt, but at least he knows simple techniques.
Oh, okay, so this is where we get the introduction. Right, that's right. She was going to kill him, but these things kind of give a premonition, if I remember. Like he's the one, like Neo from The Matrix. It's also funny that uh, Zoe Zaldana's like, her biggest roles were characters in mocap suits, like Gamora and then this character. I mean, she slapped Johnny Depp's Captain Sparrow and then she just kind of started doing mocap movies. What is that, some oil? Or some flammable liquid, I guess. Sounds like hyena. I'm really liking the creature designs as well, that they're not just like generic blobs. They've all got like unique features. Piercing green eyes as well, looks like the predator. I also love how they built like life-size equipment for these guys, like wasn't, was that like two times bigger? to suit the Na'vi bodies. I love the stunt work as well. So I guess she mercy killed it. Hey, where are you going? Wait up. Hopefully the sequel is not too much like this. Hopefully Jake like knows his shit. And he's not like a bumbling idiot in this movie. You don't thank for this. This is sad. Well, this is your fault. They did not need to die. Yeah, because you started it like an idiot. I wonder, was she one of the kids in that orphanage where Sigourney taught them English? If you love your little forest friends, why not let them just kill me? Because you're the one. Maybe you should teach me. Sky people cannot learn to do not see. <laughs> then teach me how to see. No one can teach you to see. So it's kind of got a weird Matrix vibe where it's like, I can't teach you, but you've got to find your own path. I mean, it's kind of stereotypical in movies, though. He's so far off course for where uh, Sigourney Weaver's character and was Ward, he's the other guy's name. I wonder where the hell they ran off to. Like, they went two separate directions. Yeah, don't kill it. You're an idiot. Or are you just going to kill random animals? I know you're a grunt, but settle down. Where are they? Seeds of the sacred tree. Very pure spirit. Right, that's right. Okay, so they're from that tr the sacred tree. Come. Where are we going? I still never understood why in like movies like this, where it's like the outsider is going to be the one that saves the these people that are already more knowledgeable. I guess it's tropey of a movie where we're supposed to feel just as clueless as the main character that ends up being the one. But yeah, it's that very fish out of water storyline. Like, it's not a big problem. Most movies like this have the same plots and that. So that's why I never understood the big outcry of hatred to this movie. I remember really enjoying it, but it's not my favourite camera movie. But so far, I'm really liking it. Like, I, I'm not remembering this deeper story. But again, I was a kid, so the context wasn't really there as a kid. Get the pay off a hay or I can... <laughs> What's he saying? My father is deciding whether to kill you. Very nice. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Ah! 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 
Idiot. So yeah, now they're gonna test his will. No scientist. What are you? I was a marine. See, also I don't understand is they know that these people are the sky people. They're not questioning, hey, why do you look like us? Maybe they're aware of that they've transferred avatar bodies. It is decided. My daughter will teach you our ways. Learn well, Jake Sully. I reckon that's a pretty good deal. Or die, I guess. Right, so if he goes to sleep, does he wake up as a human? Okay. Jake! How long? How long were they just doing that for? Like, hours? Is the Avatar safe? <laughs> yeah, Doc. And you are not gonna believe where I am. So I guess they're, they're saying the Avatar- is the Avatar okay? So I'm guessing if he dies as the Avatar, he doesn't physically die as the human. Because they weren't sounding that concerned. Look, Sully, Sully, just find out what the blue monkeys want. He kind of reminds me of Burke as well, this guy. Just like the young conspiracy person that just wants money from this. He's pretending to do this for the science, but he's trying to like do it for money as well. Unobtainium deposit within 200 clicks in any direction. I mean, look at all that cheddar. Right, so then I'm gonna cut the tree down. What if they won't go? Oh, I'm betting that they will. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look. Killing the indigenous looks bad. But really? You got three months. That's when the dozers get there. But we're wasting time. See, this is the main thing I also don't get. It's like he was talking about his brother at the start being a grunt and just following orders and being dumb. But he's mirroring the exact same thing here. Natiri was my best student. She and her sister, Simone. Okay, there we go. So she did teach Natiri. Okay, that makes sense then, because she was speaking English and she knew what was going on. So I got that answer. Don't do anything unusually stupid. Yeah, don't go smashing around with the avatars. You should go away. Nah, no, you'd miss me. I knew you could speak English. So yeah, I assume all the, the young Navi taught how to speak English. In this secondary ring. Okay, so they don't know these people specifically. So Sigourney Weaver's character and these guys don't know that he's coercing with the military. They just like the research. Okay. Welcome to camp. She knew I was talking to the colonel. Of course. So she's playing nice. Separate him from the military. Ah, oh, that's right, the dragons. Or the dragon-like creatures, I remember. When Sahelu is made, Ikran will fly with only one hunter in the whole life. Right, that's right, there's that massive, like, red or orange dragon, I think. Even stuff like this is really amazing work. Like, I don't know how the new movie is, because I haven't seen it yet, but how much better it is it with the CGI compared to this? I've heard that it's way better than this, but this is such a really high standard. I've... I'm actually honestly excited to say that. What did happen at the school, Grace? Hunters came running in. All painted up. They had set a bulldozer on fire. Okay. The troopers pursued them to the school. They killed the sisters, right? Right in front of Natiri. And then shot the others. I got most of the kids out. That's why you don't put the military involved with this shit. But also, I wonder why she continued doing this. Because she does know something's going on shady in the background. Why would she continue her research? <laughs> So he's gonna try and fly this one, right? Sheikh Ali will go first. He's still being a pig to him, I guess. 
You will have one chance, Jake. How will I know if he chooses me? He will try to kill you. Nice. <laughs> Well, nice. There you go. First flight seals the bond. You cannot wait. <sighs> Think, fly. Fly. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Why would this animal be shit at flying? Oh, he's connected. Okay. So it's shit. It's shit because he's shit. Ah, right. Okay, so it is the big, the bigger dragon. Looks like ah, uh, ho ho a bit from <laughs> Pokemon. Follow me. They gotta try and like fight it away. Oh, yeah, you gotta trap in vines. Smart. My grandfather's grandfather was Turok Makto, writer of Last Shadow. He wrote this? That's right, he he's the he's the first guy in generations of this tribe to ride the the dragon basically. No way in the world. Right, he's losing it. Well, he doesn't know what's real or what's not now. And this idiot's still gonna sell out to this guy. Yeah, I got them by the balls with that. When this turns into a shit fight, which it will. Yeah, because you're going to start it. You're going to get your legs back. Yeah, I got your corporate approval. It's a done deal. All this because of legs. He was going to kill a whole tribe of people. Ceremony. It's the final stage of becoming a man. If I do it, I'm one of them. Is he going to warn them at least? And I can negotiate the terms of their relocation. So he only wants to get initiated to move them, I guess, to safety, but it's still a bad idea. So they invade pretty much now, don't they? If I, if I think, if I remember right. It's pretty much automatically an invasion, right? Yeah, see, so when they walk the lights of the plants... But yeah, I'll give Cameron the props. I mean, no CGI movies given the feeling that this movie's given. Even back when I watched it years ago. I mean, it's pretty insane what he's done. And you may choose a woman. You? We have many fine women. Yeah, but he wants you. I've already chosen. But this woman must also choose me. She already has. Yeah, nice. Tomorrow I'm going to invade everyone. <laughs> It's like, he's built such a friendship with everyone here and he's, yeah, just screw that. What the hell are you doing, Jake? <laughs> you gotta choose at this point. Right, I can hear industrial shit happening. Yeah, it's already happening right now. This is when the shit goes down. 